We're going to look at whether it's better to give away mosquito nets or sell them, and in the process we'll consider a concept which economists call elasticity of demand. For some general background, in the year 2002, the World Health Organization estimated that about a quarter of young children's deaths in Africa were due to malaria. Malaria was also responsible for over one million African deaths a year. Malaria, of course, is carried by mosquitoes. A partial solution to this problem is given by the bed net. If you're sleeping under a bed net, to some extent you are protected from mosquitoes. It's all the more effective if that bed net has been laced or treated with insecticide. One problem, however, is that the rate of uptake on bed nets in many parts of Africa is fairly low. One study of Kenya found that only about 20% of households had the bed nets at all, and when it came to effective use, looking at children five years of age or younger, only about 5% of those children were actually being protected by the bed nets. If you're running a charitable program, one question is whether you should be giving away the bed nets completely or free, or whether you should simply be heavily subsidizing the price of those bed nets, say to the rate of about 80 or 90 percent. It turns out that it makes a really big difference if the bed nets are free altogether. When the bed nets are given away absolutely for free, the rate of uptake is about 99 percent, and of course that's quite a high figure. Alternatively, let's say that a very small price is charged for the bed nets. In the equivalent terms of U.S. dollars, this price would be around 75 cents. And when the price for a bed net is 75 cents, what happens is that the demand for bed nets goes down quite a bit. In fact, it goes down by about 75 percent, so many fewer bed nets end up being used. Economists would say that in this case, demand is relatively elastic, and the general lesson is that sometimes making something altogether free really does make a big difference for demand, and in this case, ultimately, the health of the children, the health of the population, and the fight against malaria. To read more on this topic and to see exactly where these estimates come from, I recommend these two pieces, both of which are available online.